Dear sisters, dear friends, dear Iranian women, dear all supporters of women's history and culture and of women's rights, dear pioneers of the Iranian Women's Movement Museum, dear godmother of our International Association of Women's Museum, Mrs. Sifirin Ebadi, and dear Dear, dear Mansouri. <laughs> it is a tremendous pleasure for me to be here with you all at the Humanity House in Den Haag today, the 9th of March 2018. I am invited here as the president of the International Association of Women's Museums, and I speak today on behalf of our colleagues in women's museums all around the world. For our organization, the opening of the exhibition from Evan with Love is of the highest importance. The first time I met Mansouri Chouaillet was in our own museums, a women's museum in Norway in the small town of Kogsvinger. She came on a study visit in December 2010 and stayed with us for two weeks. Uh, this was her last stop on a training tour for to four different women's museums in Europe. She wanted to see different ways of organizing collections, staff, research, exhibitions, and education programs in our museums in order to be prepared to plan and later establish an Iranian women's museum herself in collaboration with former Nobel Peace Prize winner Shirin Ebadi. I had heard of Mansouri and her work already at the very first international <coughs> meeting between different women's museums. This took place in Meran, Italy, as everybody has mentioned, in 2008, and was the first time that many of the women's museums got to know about the existence of others. Imagine. Mrs. Shireen Abadi was invited at this conference godmother. At the conclusion of the conference, she said the words that later have become a slogan for our organization, and I quote her, the women are the ones who write the history of the world. There has to be a women's museum in every country of this world. Mrs. Evadi later <coughs> agreed to continue as a godmother for the women's museums globally something we are most grateful for. This important conference in 2008 was the work of our dear colleagues Astri Schoenweger and Sissi Prade from the Italian Women's Museum in Meran in collaboration with the Women's Museum in Senegal. They made an enormous effort to be able to reach out to and invite women from all continents to a three-day conference where we all got to know each other and decided to form a network. <coughs> Four years later, at the International Conference in Alice Springs, Australia, the Women's Museums founded a proper international organization and named it the International Association of Women's Museums. The registration was later made in Bonn, Germany, by the first president, Bettina Bob, from Frauenmuseum Bonn, who is present here today. <laughs> and both Astrid Schoenweger, who is the coordinator and driving force of our organization, and Sissi Prader, who is our treasurer and co-opted member of the board, 
They send their warmest regards to you all and congratulate you with the opening of the Iranian Women's Movement Museum's very first exhibition. Today, there are, as far as we know, 88 women's museums around the world. 17 of these are virtual, and there are 44 initiatives to make new women's museums. These museums are quite different from each other. Anyway, we do all have in common that we have struggled to be able to give women a history and a specific place to find cultural expressions told by women from women's own perspectives. And in spite of all challenges, we have been victorious in this mission. The problem is that we, the women, do not find our history in the majority of traditional museums. And this is why these brave women from different countries all over the world independently, and several of them without knowing about each other, <coughs> have founded specific museums for women's history and culture and call them Women's for Gender Museums. The explanation of the lack of women's history in traditional museums is a more complex question. It is a part of the universal di dilemma of the patriarchal tradition, and the answer cannot be found only inside the museum sector. Anyway, since <coughs> creating a women's museum means that you are criticizing the museum situation in your own region, your own country, and globally, for not being democratic. You are forced to meet resistance. And it can be hard to face accusations on a regular basis being on your own, because we do that, we receive <laughs> accusations. And this is one important reason for having created the International Association of Women's Museums to mutual support each other in our important work to give women all over the world a history and an identity. It is fundamental to create networks and to support each other. We have to continue our collaboration to give women their rightful place in history. I end my speech with Mansouri Shuaye's own words from the opening night at the Norwegian Women's Museum, the last day of her stay in December 2010. I quote, Via recognizing my brave global sisters in this network, now I believe that I am not alone and I could continue what I have started and expanded. And finally, via contemplating your museum's exhibitions, I can tell you who I am. I am a woman of the Gulf. My life is in pledge of the purity, peace and serenity of the waters. I come from the heart of all the red and black seas and from across all the barren and brittle dress deserts, and from the valleys, and from the waiting fields, I can carry the fresh message of peace and friendship among women. I am beholden to Sharsad, the storyteller's inheritance, who, with her womanly prudence and the kindness of her words, blocked the roads of the fiend of devilry and massacre and murder as much as 1,001 nights. Now, this is my song, which resonates with the song of the Norwegian poet Dami Yule. 
which we got to know in our museum. Stille, stille means silence, silence. We are the sisters of Shahrzad. We will propagate justice, equality and peace in the world so not to be eradicated ourselves. Stille, stille. Congratulations and the best of luck for the Iranian Women's Movement Museum in the future.